Alright everybody, welcome back to another video here from Dill's Garage and today we're installing our new exhaust. So with this exhaust it has the banana uh, muffler with a regular muffler on the back and it also has this pipe with the screw tips to go around the, uh, the bar there. Um, I may have to modify it due to this gap to just go right here or it may just fit there. Let's actually test fit that real quick. Uh, yeah, it, it should just fit there. We'll see. But uh, yeah, so it's going to go on the spike. We're going to be test fitting it, replacing it, because currently all I have is a straight pipe right here, because these bolts have given me hell. They keep falling off and breaking off inside, and I keep on drilling them out and retapping everything. Um, it's just destroying the motor. So the reason I got this was it mounts to the frame. I'm probably going to do some more mounts. But I had to cut the muffler off because it weighed too much and it just would wobble around. And without any extra support, it was, it was not handling it well. So, that's why I'm doing this. Plus, it should be better, look better, and it won't blow down right by my feet or onto my feet. So, yeah, we're going to get that installed and uh, see how it goes. Oh, so I fitted it all up and we welded it. So this is a stock exhaust piece right here, and then this is the other piece. It originally was this, right on top of that, like so. And we just cut that off and welded it to the stock exhaust. From there, we put a bracket to hold it on real nice, so I didn't use that bracket. Um, then it goes down, and this connected piece which is not touching anything, so I could still tighten it up if I wanted to. And then it goes into the banana, comes up here. There's another connected piece right here towards the back of the brake, so it doesn't hit the brakes or anything. It holds there, and it's really sturdy on there. And then it's got the muffler right here. Now, I may cut some right here and angle that more down so it's not blowing upward, but for now, it works just fine for me. Um, I like it. It doesn't come in contact with my legs or anything, and I do have a wrap to go around all of it, just in case I do smack it or something. It doesn't burn my leg off, so that'll help a lot. So yeah, that's a completed product. That's what it all looks like. Um, I'm pretty sure this was made for an 80cc two-stroke, because the two-strokes are a lot narrower, and that's what I believe that was made for. So I think that's why it didn't fit perfectly, but it all worked out fine. I didn't have to put it on the other side or anything. If I would have put it on the other side, it definitely would have come in contact with my leg. But it just happened to fit perfectly underneath this clutch here. So, I'm satisfied. I'm happy with it. Doesn't get in the way of anything major. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is if I do want to take it off, I have to cut these welds, cut those welds, and then unbolt it. But other than that, it's fine. As long as I plan on do not doing like any major modification. I can still take the motor off by unbolting it there or unscrewing it. And you're just taking this weld, but motor still comes off, everything's still versatile, so it's fine. Um, thanks guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you want to do something like this yourselves, hit me up in the comments and I'll answer any questions you have. Um, it was really easy, really simple, and I enjoyed doing it. Like I said, I enjoy working out in the garage, all my various different projects. So, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you want to help support the channel, and thank you for watching. See you on the next one, and hope you'll have a great day.